ended up doing this glass a third time. It's 2 a.m. Went to bed last night at 4 a.m. <laughs> Nisia J and I'm back with another video. So I am in Joanne Fabric Store and we are working on fulfilling some orders. So I got orders for two masks with two different prints and then one mask along with some mugs that I'm going to be making. So today I'm picking up the fabric for those items. So stay tuned if you guys want to be along for the trip and see what I end up using to make one graphic mask and two patterned masks. Okay, hi you guys. So clearly I am in the car. We had a few different fabrics that I was trying to narrow down and pick from for one of my subscribers who ordered a mask as well as two glass mugs. So I was looking for the fabric for the background of his graphic that I'm gonna be placing on the fabric to make the mask. And we saw a lot of different ones. I'll put a picture of them here, but I think that this fabric is gonna go great with the graphic we're going to be placing on this mask. And I think that this was the best choice and I hope that he liked them. So excited and i'm so glad that that part of the process is done now i'm going to have to go to hobby lobby next because i have another customer who has ordered some animal print masks and joanne didn't have a great selection today of animal print fabrics so i'm gonna have to stop by hobby lobby but my mom's a diabetic and we have to get her home so she can eat so once we get her at home, I'm going to hop in my car and we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so you guys, we made it to Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna go inside of Hobby Lobby and see if they have the animal print fabrics that we're looking for. And if they do, good. If not, we may have to like order them or go to a whole nother store, which I don't wanna have to do at this point. It's really, really hot out here, but the customer needs their fabric. So let's go in here and see what they have. Okay, you guys, I am outside of Hobby Lobby and clearly I don't have anything in my hands because we didn't find anything. They don't have either one of the colors or the prints that I need. Okay, so what we might end up doing is using some HTV vinyl to be creative and put it on solid fabric, which would be the color of the fabric that she actually wants it to be to match the items that she wants the mask to match so we may end up doing that and just putting the print on with some htv vinyl that's only if we don't find it at this next store we're going to this is going to be the last fabric store that we visit and if they don't have it that's what we're just going to have to do So we made it to the next door and this is where we're gonna look for the pattern fabric. Hey, go ahead. <sighs> you guys, it's so hot here today. Oh my gosh. But I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Looking for this fabric for this lady. Okay, you guys, look, look for yourself. We don't see any leopard print fabric or khaki polka dot fabric. 
We see black polka dot fabric, but no khaki. Okay, you guys, so what I did since clearly leopard print and that polka dot thing, the polka dot thing just probably doesn't exist or we would probably have to order it. So I got the color that the polka dot stuff is on. We're just gonna go and probably put HTV on it or if I find it already made in HTV, then we will iron that on it. And then also, or I could go on my Cricut Design Space and create it that way. And then for the leopard print, we're probably gonna use either that fabric or a black fabric or a dark brown fabric. I probably have those fabrics at home or we can just use the one I just bought. And we're just gonna do HTV leopard print on that. So let's go to the store that I know that they already have an HTV leopard print made that we can just use already and just iron it on. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you can hear the air, but it's so hot. And I'm sorry I didn't like bring you guys inside the store. I did bring you guys inside the store, but I get so carried away when I go in there and I hold these long, like hour long conversations with the people in there. This is what I ended up getting. I ended up buying some scraps because we don't need that big of pieces of vinyl to do what we're gonna do on the masks that we're making for the lady who ordered from me so this is gonna be fine i'm on my way home to get started working on all of the things that we just bought to help us make the things that we're trying to make okay you guys so i went live and you guys said that you wanted to see the end result of what i was making while i've been gone this is what i've been working with lately i actually this was my first try on one of the glasses that i was making for a customer who is actually one of the subscribers so say hello if you're here and you're seeing this hot mess this one ended up being the stencil is on there still clearly but clearly the etching looked a hot mess so I redid the glass. So this was trial number one. And this is number two. This is what we came up with. I think that it looks great. This is one of the glasses. Here is battle, battle of the planet edge glass those are the two glasses my subscriber also ordered a battle of the planets mask or maybe it's gotcha man gotcha man i've never you know i've never heard of this this franchise or the, these anime characters but it looks pretty cool this is what we're working with this is what he ordered so this is gonna be awesome i feel like i feel like it looks pretty good and I really enjoyed making this. And so that's that on that. So this one has the label, my mask, the mask that I made has the label Freedom Masks LLC because I own another company called Freedom Masks LLC, which is how I got started with creating all of this stuff, making masks. And so this was artwork in conjunction with Free Finally Free LLC, which is which is my business where I do the glasses, the masks, the t-shirts and things like that. So, yep, these are what we came up with and I can't wait until he gets it. I hope he likes the items. Okay, you guys, so I actually ended up doing this glass a third time. Um, so this is what it's looking like. I think that the etching looks a lot better than it did on the last two glasses. So that's what that's gonna look like. Now I just have to peel off the stencil that I made. I have the best family and friends because we're all perfectionists and if it weren't for them, like, y'all i don't know but they took a look at my work and i wasn't completely satisfied with the battle of the planets one so i was like i really know that i want to redo this one 
So I'm not done taking the stencil off of it, but um, I'm starting to take off this other one. Um, but anyway, they helped me to decide like, yeah, try it a third time. You know, the third time is the charm, um, is the charm and I want it to look really good for my subscriber who actually, you know, watches my videos and supports me, so. I did it a third time. And on this Battle of the Planets, I still wasn't satisfied. So I just went over it again, the etching cream. It's 2 a.m. Went to bed last night at 4 a.m. <laughs> Looks like I'm repeating myself. But the customer is what matters and so, I wanna make this as special as possible. I already have the box ready, got my invoices in the box, my shipping label on there. Now we're just getting these glasses ready and wrapped up with bubble wrap. And that'll be all we have to add to the box. I showed you guys earlier, but those aren't the glasses that I'm shipping off. These are gonna be the glasses. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Look at it, look at that. Showing out, showing out. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I hope that my subscriber loves it. So this is what we came up with. I'm gonna go ahead and package everything and I'll show you guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so in my opinion, the glasses came out really nicely. These are what we will be sending. And I already showed you guys the mask earlier. This is the mask. And I really hope that my customer slash subscriber really likes the things that I made for them. Let's go ahead and wrap them with a bubble wrap and pack them on up. Okay, you guys, so this is what the inside of the box looks like. The two glasses are in here and the mask, and now we're gonna add our packing slip and our invoice. Okay, so I'm going ahead and closing up my box. It's ready to go. All we have to do is take this to the post office in the morning. Oh, also, don't forget to tape it down. Tape down your box as well. And if you guys didn't know, um, I make my own fragile stickers. And just the FYI and a fun fact, I make my own fragile stickers. So if you need any, you can order some from me or you could always go on Amazon. I think I forgot to put something inside this freaking box, but I think I'm just going to tape it on the outside. You guys probably know from my last video, I always put a thank you note. So we're just gonna slip this thank you note inside here. So that they can have a thank you note because we cannot have someone order something from us and us not say thank you. We have to say thank you. Southern hospitality. And I'm from the state of hospitality. So, and that's how our box looks. Everything is taped down on all sides, on the bottom. 
you guys nobody is gonna get into this box, box unless they are committed i bet if you're watching this i bet you're gonna be like wow i'm not gonna be able to get in that box that's the point we don't want anybody getting your merch your merchandise so i'm not gonna show you guys the box or i can show you guys the box i just don't want the customer's information to be shown so you guys know it's the logo on there that you guys helped me create and i put my little fragile stickers on there and it already has a postage stamp on it and we're ready to go next video will probably be a video of me making um some animal print masks that my aunt requested so that's what's going to be in the next video and then we'll get back on the etching because I think the next video was supposed to be color etching. So we're going to figure that out and then we will come with a video for that. I hope you guys liked this video. Give me a like if you did. And also go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And if you guys are watching this and you're about to go to sleep, have a good night's sleep. But if you guys are starting your day, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to drink your coffee. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace to the Middle East. It's 3 a.m. And that means it's time for me to go to bed. Good night, you guys.